Hey guys, welcome back to Sourdough for Dummies. This is the third video in the series. Uh, today we're going to be talking about creating leaven. Leaven is the first step down the path to making some sourdough bread from our starter. Um, so if you haven't already, I recommend you go back and watch the previous two videos, which are about what kind of equipment you're going to need to make bread, and also um, how to make a sourdough starter. So again, if you haven't watched those two, um, you should before you go on with this video. So these are the next steps. So before you make leaven, you want to make sure that your starter is very active. This is my starter right before I did this step. Uh, you see here you got a lot of peaks and valleys, bumps, um, a lot of bubbles all throughout. And it's a little tough to see. You don't see it in this video. But as you move the starter around, you'll actually see kind of webbing and bubbles and air pockets throughout the mix. Um, you want to make sure you're at this point before you go any further because you're not going to have any success if you try to make leaven from starter that isn't active or ripe or however you want to call it. Your starter should look pretty similar to this. Um, again, you can kind of cheat and tip the bowl and look for webbing on the sides and air pockets. You can also take the edge of the spoon and kind of pull through and check for pockets and bubbles that way too. All right, to make your leaven, you're going to need some active starter. You're going to need a cereal bowl or something around that size, as well as a tablespoon and a Pyrex and a mixing spoon as well. So what you'll see here is I go in and I get a tablespoon full of the starter, nice and active. You can see the webs and holes and bubbles in there when I pull through. Um, the trick here is you're going to try to get as much starter as you can off that uh, tablespoon into the bowl here. So you're going to scrape the spoon with your finger and scrape your finger with the spoon and just kind of go back and forth trying to get as much as possible into the bowl of that starter. So you're going to see through these videos, I kind of uh, double up on the recipe. My family goes through a lot of bread, so uh, I wind up making four loaves every batch. So if you're making two loaves, you're just going to do it uh, one time. I'm doing four loaves here, so you see me kind of repeat the process again. So again, just a reminder, try to get as much of that starter into the bowl as possible. Um, the next step up is after you have your starter in your bowl, you're going to take two-thirds of a cup of all-purpose flour, and mix it into uh, your bowl here with your active starter. So again, I'm making four loaves, so you're gonna see me repeat that again and pour that into the second bowl. So next up is your water. You're gonna add a third of a cup of water to each bowl. Um, so after you put your flour and your starter in there, you're gonna pour your water in just like so. Um, again, I'm doubling up the recipe, so I do it again here, another third of a cup of water into the other bowl. Um, each bowl that you have here is going to make two loaves, so I'm going for four loaves here. After you add your water, you're going to mix well. Um, you're going to try to stir together your starter, your water, and your flour that are all in the bowl. Uh, mix it very well. Follow along with the same kind of tips you did when you're making your sourdough starter to begin with. Um, you're going to scrape down the sides of your bowl and try to mix really well so there's no flour left over and everything is mixed together as kind of one consistency. It's going to be very thick and this is kind of what you're going to see and what it's going to look like. It's going to look more like a paste at this point. So I'm doubling the recipe so you get to take another look at how to mix it up. Um, you're just going to again stir everything up. Make sure it's all blended together really well. You don't have any flour sitting there. Scrape down the sides of the bowl. Follow all the same tips from when you made your starter. Um, also if you're following along it's still the same ratio here. Back when we were feeding starter it was two parts flour to one part water. Same thing here, two-thirds of a cup of flour, one-third of a cup of water. Just thought I'd bring that up. So again, that's what it should look like when you're all done mixing it up and you have your leaven mixed. Now that I'm done making my leaven, I typically feed my starter and seal it up and put it in the fridge for long term or leave it out if I'm going to use it soon. I plastic wrap the leaven and then put a dish towel over the leaven as well or something similar to keep it warm. Leave it out at room temperature and let it rise overnight or for somewhere around 12 hours. That's it for the video. Stay tuned for our next video where we're going to cover making our dough balls, folding our dough, and getting ready to bake our sourdough bread. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to get back to you and help you out. Good luck with everything.